cayenne pepper does three things. Cayenne pepper thins the blood. It's a powerful blood thinner. In fact, if cayenne pepper is going through your, through your arteries and your veins and it finds any bleeding, it'll seal the, the bleeding blood vessel. In the book Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss, he devotes half a page to every other herb, but 10 pages to cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is not chilli. Chilli is an irritant to the lining of the gastrointestinal tract. Did you know that cayenne pepper isn't just for adding a spicy kick to your meals? According to Dr. Barbara O'Neill, this fiery red pepper might be your new ally in achieving better health. Dr. O'Neill's research highlights that just a pinch of cayenne pepper can significantly boost your immune system and offer a host of other health benefits. So, if you're ready to spice up your health journey, stay tuned. Cayenne pepper has some incredible secrets that seem almost too good to be true. Dr. Barbara O'Neill, born on July 28, 1953, has dedicated her life to developing natural remedies that address serious health conditions with minimal fuss. She is married to Michael O'Neill, the founder of the Informed Medical Options Party which raises awareness about potential health risks linked to vaccinations. Despite facing significant legal challenges and criticism from the medical community, Dr. O'Neill has remained committed to her mission. Her self-research has often put her at odds with established scientific institutions, leading to a prohibition order and numerous complaints. Nevertheless, her dedication to promoting natural health solutions has never wavered. Dr. O'Neill advocates for incorporating various natural herbs and ingredients into our diets instead of relying solely on medications that often come with side effects. Her recommended list includes castor oil, onion, potato, ginger, garlic, lemon, and more. In this segment, we'll dive into the benefits of cayenne pepper and explore Dr. O'Neill's insights from her extensive research. So, what exactly is cayenne pepper? If you're a fan of spicy foods, you're likely familiar with this long, thin red chili pepper. It's a member of the capsicum family, which includes sweet bell peppers, jalapenos, poblanos, serranos, and the intensely hot ghost peppers. Let's explore how this humble spice can transform your health. Cayenne pepper is a remarkable herb. Cayenne pepper is not chili. Chili comes from the chili family, and cayenne pepper comes from the capsicum family. Although cayenne pepper isn't as fiery as ghost peppers, it still packs a substantial punch in terms of heat. Measured by Scoville Heat Units, SHU, cayenne peppers range between 30,000 and 50,000 SHU. In contrast, ghost peppers can reach an intense 1 million SHU. Cayenne pepper is typically dried and ground into a fine powder making it a versatile spice for various culinary uses. For centuries, cayenne pepper has been cherished not only for its culinary versatility, but also for its medicinal properties. It's a staple in Mexican, Cajun, Creole, and Southwestern American cuisines, as well as Korean, Sichuan, and other Asian dishes. If you're already sprinkling cayenne pepper on your spaghetti, tacos, casseroles, eggs, or seafood, you're enjoying both flavor and health benefits in one go. But there's more to cayenne pepper than just enhancing your meals. It has a long history in traditional Ayurvedic and Eastern medicine, where it's used to address digestive and circulatory issues. The key ingredient in cayenne pepper, capsaicin, is responsible for many of its health benefits. Capsaicin is commonly found in topical treatments for relieving muscle and joint pain, and it's what gives cayenne pepper its distinctive heat. Originally from Central and South America, cayenne pepper now grows in many parts of the world, including India, East Africa, Mexico, and various regions in the United States. Dr. Barbara O'Neill emphasizes that cayenne pepper is excellent for thinning the blood, strengthening heart muscles, maintaining arterial walls, and stimulating blood flow. According to Dr. O'Neill, good blood circulation is crucial for healing, as blood is the life of the flesh, and it needs to be constantly moving to keep us healthy. Cayenne pepper will heal a stomach ulcer. Cayenne pepper moves blood. It's one of the best circulatory stimulants there is. It's not a nervous system stimulant like your caffeines or your tobacco. It's a blood stimulant. Many people turn to aspirin to thin their blood, but this common practice carries significant risks. Research shows that taking low-dose aspirin daily can lead to serious issues such as brain bleeds, stomach or gastrointestinal bleeding, and even eye bleeding. 
Dr. Barbara O'Neill addresses these concerns and offers a safer, more natural alternative, cayenne pepper. She advocates that cayenne pepper is the best natural blood thinner and stimulant available, without the bleeding risks associated with aspirin. While it's often advised to avoid spicy and stimulating foods, Dr. O'Neill believes that cayenne pepper's ability to enhance blood flow is a crucial factor in the healing process. She emphasizes that anything that moves blood or accelerates its flow to a specific area can aid in recovery. Moreover, Dr. O'Neill asserts that cayenne pepper can even help treat stomach ulcers, challenging the conventional wisdom that spicy foods should be avoided in such conditions. By incorporating cayenne pepper into your diet, you might not only enjoy a burst of flavor, but also experience significant health benefits without the adverse effects associated with synthetic medications. Cayenne pepper is a blood stimulant, and anything that stimulates blood stimulates healing. In fact, it has been said that you put cayenne pepper with any other herb and you will, will increase its effectiveness. But there's more to cayenne pepper than you might think. Dr. Barbara O'Neill highlights its remarkable ability to improve your digestive system. She suggests that drinking a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper in a small amount of water can activate your gastric glands, significantly boosting your digestion. Although you might initially experience a burning sensation in your chest, Dr. O'Neill explains that it's just a tingling effect. This sensation indicates that your gastric glands are releasing gastric juices to aid in the digestion of food more efficiently. Cayenne pepper essentially reminds these glands to ramp up their activity, making it a powerful stimulant for those who have low levels of hydrochloric acid. Dr. O'Neill's claims about the digestive benefits of cayenne pepper are supported by scientific research. The capsaicin in cayenne pepper stimulates the nerves in your stomach to produce digestive fluids, facilitating better digestion. Moreover, studies suggest that capsaicin may help control stomach ulcers caused by the H. pylori bacteria. When you consume cayenne pepper, it works its way through your arteries, helping to fix and seal bleeding blood vessels while also thinning your blood. By incorporating cayenne pepper into your diet, you not only enhance your meals, but also support your digestive health and overall well-being. Well, God said that he gave herbs for the service of man. So the cayenne pepper comes in and says, where would you like me? I'll thin this blood. Oops, I'll seal off that bleeding blood vessel. Dr. Barbara O'Neill shared a unique and little known method to cure a sore throat using cayenne pepper. According to her, Cayenne pepper has remarkable analgesic properties that can effectively relieve sore throat discomfort. When first applied, cayenne pepper might cause a slight itching sensation in the throat. However, as this initial irritation subsides, you'll notice a significant improvement in how your throat feels. For Dr. O'Neill, cayenne pepper is much more than just a spice used to add heat to dishes. She considers it a natural painkiller with a wide range of applications. Beyond its ability to soothe a sore throat, cayenne pepper is also highly effective for treating upset stomachs. Its active component, capsaicin, plays a crucial role in providing these health benefits. Capsaicin works by reducing the amount of substance P, a chemical messenger that transmits pain signals to the brain, thus alleviating pain and discomfort. Cayenne pepper can be used for an upset stomach. When it gets into the blood, it thins the blood, it opens the capillaries, it strengthens the arterial wall. About a quarter of a teaspoon in a little cup of water, or maybe a third of a cup of water just before the meal. Dr. Barbara O'Neill suggests that adding any herb to cayenne pepper can significantly amplify its effectiveness. This potent combination not only enhances cayenne pepper's pain-relieving properties, but also brings a multitude of other health benefits. One of the most notable applications Dr. O'Neill highlights is the use of cayenne pepper to alleviate cold feet. Cold feet can occur for various reasons, including poor circulation, anemia, chemotherapy, diabetes, or simply experiencing numbness. Many people instinctively try to warm their feet by soaking them in hot water. However, Dr. O'Neill advises against this common practice. She explains that placing cold feet in hot water can actually lead to tissue damage, making it an unsafe method for improving circulation. Instead, Dr. O'Neill recommends incorporating cayenne pepper with other herbs to naturally enhance blood flow and warmth. This approach not only promotes better circulation, 
but also leverages the combined benefits of natural ingredients for overall health improvement. For instance, combining cayenne pepper with olive oil or castor oil creates a powerful compress that can be applied to cold feet, stimulating blood flow and providing lasting warmth. Additionally, this method avoids the risks associated with hot water and offers a more sustainable and holistic solution. By using a natural remedy like cayenne pepper combined with other herbs, individuals can effectively address the issue of cold feet without resorting to potentially harmful methods. This holistic approach aligns with Dr. O'Neill's broader philosophy of utilizing natural remedies to support and enhance the body's inherent healing processes, ensuring a safer and more effective way to improve circulation and overall well-being. So what you do if someone has cold feet, you cannot do this treatment to them. Because if they have continually cold feet and you put the cold feet in hot water, you can damage the tissues. Dr. Barbara O'Neill has an effective remedy for cold feet, a compress made of olive oil and cayenne pepper. You can also use castor oil if you prefer. Here's how to prepare it. First, grab a double layered kitchen paper and a plastic sheet. Place the kitchen paper on the plastic sheet and drizzle olive oil over it, spreading it evenly so that the cayenne pepper sticks well. Be careful not to use too much oil to avoid leaks. Then, sprinkle half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper onto the oiled paper. Next, place the paper with the plastic sheet under your foot and wrap it with the plastic sheet. Finish by putting on a sock. Dr. O'Neill suggests wearing this compress before bed. For those who frequently experience cold or numb feet, you'll likely feel a tingling sensation or pins and needles by morning. She recommends applying this every other night until you achieve warm feet or relief from numbness. You can also prepare these compresses in advance if you often suffer from cold feet or plan to visit someone who does. Additionally, Dr. O'Neill advises using the olive oil and cayenne pepper sheet on an underactive thyroid. She shared a story of a woman whose thyroid activity improved significantly after using this method, allowing her to stop her medication. However, she cautions against applying it at bedtime due to the intense heat, which might keep you awake. Dr. O'Neill also suggests high-intensity exercise as a natural way to stimulate the thyroid gland. In the book Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss, cayenne pepper is highlighted extensively for its numerous benefits. In a video discussion, a host shared how her mother used cayenne pepper to manage high blood pressure, placing it under her tongue for rapid results. She used cayenne and I said, put it under your tongue when your blood pressure goes up really high. And she did that and she said, wow, it actually brought my blood pressure down. The host also mentioned that her mother frequently suffered from stomach issues and was prone to stomach aches. However, after incorporating cayenne pepper into her routine, she no longer experienced an upset stomach. Her mother's stomach was particularly sensitive to foods like grapefruit, but cayenne pepper seemed to fortify her digestive system. Dr. Barbara O'Neill shared a remarkable story during one of her lectures about a colleague, a doctor, who accidentally suffered deep cuts on her foot, revealing the fat layer. In an unconventional move, O'Neill grabbed a bottle of cayenne pepper and sprinkled it over the wounds. Astonishingly, the bleeding stopped almost immediately. Although it might have caused additional pain initially, the discomfort subsided within minutes. The next day, the colleague told O'Neill that she would have required stitches if a hospital had been nearby. Instead, the cayenne pepper effectively bound the cuts, demonstrating its impressive healing properties. Without the need for stitches, her skin healed remarkably well. Dr. O'Neill also recounted an incident involving her younger son, who sustained a significant cut across his fingers from a knife. She was in a meeting when it happened, but upon her return, she found that her elder son had wisely applied cayenne pepper to the wounds. Despite one of the fingers being slightly bent, the cut healed perfectly without the need for stitches. These anecdotes illustrate the incredible versatility and efficacy of cayenne pepper in promoting healing and improving health. From stopping bleeding to aiding in digestion, cayenne pepper proves to be a powerful natural remedy. And then they're all gone. Well, I finished the meeting and went up to the house half an hour later, and there's William with cayenne pepper all over. The kids had put the cayenne pepper on it. And he was sitting there with a frozen juice ice block. That had made him happy. <laughs> 
you know that it should have been stitched probably. Well, I wouldn't have stitched it, but I'd say most people would have thought it, it should have been stitched, but it healed very nicely. Now, this little finger was bent for a while, so what did he cut through? A tendon. Now, when my brother-in-law saw that, he was not very happy because he felt I should have had it stitched. But I thought, well, it's his left hand and it's the third finger, so what does it matter if it's a bit bent? Do you know how you sort of got a... And what would happen if he went to hospital? They would have insisted on tetanus. They would have insisted on, you know, the, uh, how are they going to find that time? I thought, no, it'll be right. So what I did was every time we were sitting in church or sitting in a car, I'd just rub it. I'd just rub it. And I found within a few weeks it was working again. Dr. Barbara O'Neill claims that cayenne pepper can even help someone experiencing a heart attack. She recalls being called to assist a woman having a heart attack. When she arrived, the woman's face was pale, and she had no pulse. Acting swiftly, Dr. O'Neill placed half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in the woman's mouth, followed by a small amount of water. Remarkably, within two minutes, the woman's pulse returned, her face regained color, and she sat up, appearing healthy once more. Now, I had read about this, but I experienced it once, and it was when we had our health retreat in Melbourne. I got a call from one of the staff. A lady's had a heart attack in the middle of a cooking class. So I ran down. I was there in three minutes. The lady's lying on the ground. Her face is white. There's a guy holding a pulse. He said, the pulse is gone. Almost. I said, quick, cane pepper. I got a half a teaspoon on a of cane pepper, quickly put it in her mouth. She was half conscious. We were able to give her a little bit of water to, to drink. Within two minutes, the guy holding the pulse said, the pulse is strong. All the color came back into her cheeks and she sat up and said, what happened? <laughs> Just amazing. We sold out of cane pepper, that program. <laughs> Everyone, what happened to that lady? What happened to that lady is that that cayenne pepper, when it got into the blood vessels, it thinned the blood. This is the best blood thinner. No need to wolfrin, for wolfrin, I mean rat poison. Hmm? No need for aspirin. And by the way, it has been shown today that aspirin causes brain bleeds. This is very, very safe with no side effects. Now, if someone is on warfarin or aspirin and they're a little concerned, I would suggest start taking a quarter of a teaspoon three times a day. And most people, if they're on warfarin, they have to be tested, yeah, every few weeks or every month. And the doctor will say, your blood's getting so thin, we can reduce your medication. Dr. O'Neill emphasizes that while natural herbs and medications are crucial, other factors also play a vital role in preventing heart disease. Exercise, sleep, and a proper diet are integral to heart health. Regular physical activity can lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of diabetes, maintain a healthy weight, and decrease inflammation. Aerobic exercises such as jogging, swimming, biking, and hiking, along with moderate weightlifting, are particularly beneficial for the heart. Dr. O'Neill recommends getting eight hours of sleep and establishing a consistent sleep schedule, whether it's 8 p.m. to 4 a.m., 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., or 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. If continuous sleep in this pattern is challenging, gradually adjusting your sleep schedule can help achieve a full night's rest. Diet is another critical component. A proper diet rich in high fiber and high protein foods supports heart health. Nutrients essential for heart muscle function are abundantly found in plants, vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. It's also vital to stay hydrated by drinking eight glasses of water daily to help thin the blood naturally. Cayenne pepper's active component, capsaicin, is a potent pain reliever. When applied topically, capsaicin reduces pain by decreasing the chemical messenger substance P, which signals discomfort to the brain. The FDA has approved topical capsaicin treatments for various types of nerve pain and capsaicin injections for arthritis pain. Research shows that cayenne pepper can also help manage psoriasis, an autoimmune condition that causes itchy, scaly, red patches on the skin. While there's no cure for psoriasis, topical capsaicin creams can alleviate itching and inflammation. Cayenne pepper also boosts metabolism by increasing body heat and burning calories, which can help control appetite and reduce food intake throughout the day.
Additionally, studies have shown that capsaicin possesses anti-cancer properties. It specifically targets tumors and slows the growth and spread of cancer cells, potentially even killing certain types of cancer cells, including those in prostate, pancreatic, and skin cancers. Cayenne pepper is rich in nutrients and antioxidants, including vitamins A, C, E, beta-carotene, choline, lutein, and zeaxanthin, as well as B vitamins, folate, manganese, potassium, copper, iron, magnesium, selenium, phosphorus, and zinc. Whether freshly chopped or powdered, cayenne pepper is nutritionally beneficial. While freshly chopped cayenne pepper is healthier, powdered cayenne pepper is still a good source of vitamin A. Thanks to Dr. Barbara O'Neill, we now understand that cayenne pepper is not only a flavorful spice, but also a powerful ally for our overall health.